Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 4602 in Candy Crush Saga. And if you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. So here we've got 26 moves to collect four Gumi Dragons. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Ah, oh, look at this. They're all in various spots and we have to do a variety of things in order to collect them. So let's take a look. I think this one looks like the easiest one. We need to get rid of these licorice and this will drop down, right? All right, and then uh, it's hard to say which one's gonna be easiest or hardest. I'm just gonna go left to right. This one I have to get through a lot of things. This is three layer thick dark chocolate. The good news is it's not connected to anything. And dark chocolate has to be if you have one layer thick dark chocolate, it acts a lot like milk chocolate. It just grows outward. If you have two layer thick dark chocolate and it grows outward this way, let's say this is two layers thick and it grows outward this way, then it would fill in its layer before it expands further. But it couldn't ever get to three layers thick if it's not attached to something that's three layers thick. So if I knock one of these down to two layers, then I only have to deal with those. Oh, look down here. We've got marmalade, and this is one layer thick. So this could grow to three layers thick because it's attached to this. I have to knock down all of these. Okay, so I've got to get through here and then through here to get down to this area. This I have to get all the way, it looks like straight down here. And then this, look at all of that toffee, all in 26 moves. All right, obviously we only have this area. This is where we need to work. I'm gonna to try to take out as much of this as possible, even though I know that I'm, you know, allowing that dark chocolate to grow, there's n really not much other hope for me except to do that. All right, here, I can do this move, which helps to take out some of that dark chocolate. Oh, a striped raft. I have to look at some of the things on the board that are gonna make this more helpful. And I think it's these guys. If I can make striped wrapped along here and get this open, that might help. Now I'm gonna be taking out this and this, so this should drop down. And then it won't reach over to here this time round because it'll get stopped by this. But it will clear a path then, so I'll be able to get over here in the future, right? So let's do this. So we took out a layer of everything. We opened this up a bit. This isn't going to grow any further. I can make a raft, but I don't see it being helpful over here, except it would set this off. That's a little helpful. And eh, not much. I'm gonna do this instead and work on making as many stripes as I possibly can. There we go. See, now we're getting this taken care of. Oh, and we've got a stripe here now. I don't really have a good way to access it, but we have it. Uh, I think maybe this is going to be the move I try. Now, a wrapped wrapped, I mean, I guess it would work all the way up to here. It's not wonderful, and it may not come to fruition. I'd much rather have striped wrapped at this point in time because we have far-reaching things we need to get to. But I have to take what I've got. I can make a raft here or I can make a stripe. The only advantage I see for the raft immediately is that it takes out a chocolate so no new chocolate can grow. And I may be able to get it set up with a stripe to make that big stuff I need to have happen. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Yeah, it's not going great. Let's do this and we'll go for a bit of cascading. There we go. Now, I wish this were further over I want to get here, but this will help. It'll take these out and open this up a bit further. I've almost got that popped. Oh, and now I've got this combo. Okay, so I have to think about this. First of all, the nice thing is with these toffee is that I don't have to reach all the way up here to grab them. I just wait because the portals will bring the things down here. As I clear these out, more will drop down. So I can use gravity to help me there. Now I've got these two and I have to combine them and that's gonna take out some of this toffee, which is good. And I could do this to open this up like I was talking about, but instead I'm going to pull, when I say do this, I could push the orange into the blue taking out this row. Or I could push the blue into the orange taking out this row. And I want to take out this row because it reaches down to the dark chocolate 
And because when it takes out, even though I'm not taking out a, a frosting entirely, like I would be here, I will be taking out this chocolate. This will drop down and hopefully we'll get another stripe right here. So let's see how this goes. I got a stripe, can't use it, but I got it. Um, I could make a stripe here, I could set off this stripe. I, I'm gonna go ahead and make a stripe. This might get set off on its own and you know help me out in the future. Yikes, yuck, nothing. The stripe is just not aimed well. I'm gonna take it just because I need to get good things happening. There we go. Look at that, I've got two blue over here. This is gonna go horizontally, which is gonna hit this and take this out, that's nice. With two chocolate gone, maybe I'll be able to do some of those combos here. Plus, this is going to go vertically and it's going to help with this baby dragon. And then everything else should help a little bit, right? I mean, it's not like I have a lot of blue on the board. I don't have a lot of any color on the board. Oh, the stripes aren't coming out very quickly. Well, this is listed as a super hard level. I'd love to do this and get a couple of stripes to come down. Notice that these stripes are all vertical and these are horizontal. Gosh, I need to open that. There's so much I need to do on this board that I have not been able to do yet. <sighs> There's really no point in making a stripe that goes up that way, is there? Except that it would make more chaos on the board. And, you know, it, we would take this out. But I think here now I want to see, are those stripes coming out? Yeah, but look at that, just one. I don't like that. All right, got a wrapped. Can I pair it with a stripe? Mm, not quite. I'm so stuck. I'm going to do this and hope that this drops down in a good position. There we go. We're getting a little bit of work done there. I just need a lot more striped wrapped combos right in this area here. Just did not get those. I wonder if I can get a wrapped through here. No, not yet. I've got these stripes. No way to access them. This is such a limited field here. And now that stripe doesn't even work. <sighs> Yuck. I'm going to take it only because I need to try to create some cascading. Didn't work. Got one collected and one close to being collected and gained a lot of information about how tough this is going to be. Those color bombs, if I could get more color bombs. So I think I do need to, if I don't have a really good move in this area, make as much chaos as possible because there is just enough space to get those color bombs created and we only have a few colors on the board. So I, I think that's what I need to do. And, and keep focusing on, you know, if I can get a stripe draft that opens this up more quickly and really just allows things to pour through, that would change the board a great deal. So I'm gonna pause, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off, but then once I solve this, I'll come back through and narrate everything for you. Okay, this one took me all day. Pretty close to 50 tries here. So it doesn't start out great. I've got this big block here, so I just have to blow everything up and hope for a lot of cascading. I've got a good concentration of colors. Now I definitely want to focus on that. I'm going to open that up as best I can. Now I can't really focus on it. So let's do a stripe that's aimed towards that bottom. Let's take out that chocolate that's barring our way. And let's see if we can get more. Oh, I wanted to try to hold those stripes over. Here we go. We've got a stripe. I'm not going to use it yet. I'm going to keep piling up as many stripes as possible and hopefully get several to hit. There we go. We got that open and we still have 15 moves left. That looks pretty dang good. But I'm going to hold on to it for a bit and look at that. Now I get this combo. It didn't blow up on me, which is amazing. All right, so now we are traveling. That color bomb got taken out, but another one got replaced, and I'm going to take out green and open this up. Two dragons done. Now this one, I wanted to go straight down, and there is a bit of a problem with this. It can get off kilter, and so I either have to hope that it corrects itself. Oh, there it did, and so now it's 
heading back to straight down because sometimes it gets over that cutout there and makes it tough, but it corrected itself. Sometimes I have to move a different candy to move it over. We're going to try to bring that down as quickly as we can. I don't know why I made that move. I think I had a better move and I just didn't take it. Now I have to focus on these toffee and that's going to be tough. I can work down here, but I also want to, now that I've got the top area open, I have to look at all of my opportunities. Thinking about just taking out a color, but instead I'm going to do this and see if I can get some stripes to help me out. Well, I can make a stripe and I can set those off there. Now we've got everything fairly well open. There, beautiful. We're getting the stripe from the very far left coming down to help. I can make a stripe there, but that doesn't look very good. I'm going to set up a color bomb stripe combo. I have to hope we've got green that's going to go down that way. I have to hope that there's enough green to finish everything off. And look at that. We've got two aimed there and another one at the bottom. And that's the last baby dragon collected. So perseverance paid off. It was tough. And of course, if you've got boosters and you want to use them, you could probably finish it faster than I did. Or maybe you'll just get luckier or be smarter than I was. But it did take me very close to 50 tries. I worked on it all day. I had to keep waiting for more lives to show up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.